Welcome to Who's on it? Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, welcome to Midnight in Midwest Fur Fest. Okay. Yeah. 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 I like to start off this panel by asking a quick question. Who here has seen one of my midnight panels before? I don't remember. I was too. And who here has seen this panel run at MFF before? Fantastic, because this is the first year that it is running, and I am so excited to have you here. <laughs> So I started this panel back in early 2019, and I had asked a specific gentleman to be a part of it who uh, ignored my message um, <laughs> and did the same for three years straight. Um, but it is my honor and pleasure to introduce him as the co-host for tonight, and for all midnights going forward, Alkali Bismuth! <laughs> Not ignore your messages. I misspelled the first response, got angry at myself, and blocked you. <laughs> you made me misspell my own name. You won immediately. Ah, uh, yes, I forgot when I received that on message and couldn't figure out what it meant. Yeah, that was about right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alkali. Yes, my friend. There is one more person who is listed on this panel. Absolutely, there is. Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, let's give it up for Boozy Badger! flight from um Pennsylvania. <laughs> Pennsylvania. <laughs> I oh yeah it was it was a long flight. I love flying from there where I practice law. <laughs> just law. 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 Everything is going according to plan. So far, so good. You ready to change that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have an amazing array of acts lined up. We have some absolutely amazing talent in this fandom. And, and some real stinkers. <laughs> you should know. Sorry. And oh. I wanted to. Just because he shit himself. Give him a break. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Not in a fun way. Ah. Yeah. 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 We're cool. I'm Boozy Badger. I, I shit myself on stage. <laughs> oh, Boozy yeah. Oh, the great old Boozy Badger. Remember to tweet at me and remind me of everything I said at this panel. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Someone quote me right now, please. Somebody. You look taller on stream. <laughs> With the amazing talent that we have in this fandom, I wanted to provide a place to showcase absolutely none of that. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, I would like to get started with Midnight at MFF, the anti-talent show. But Alkali, Uzi, yes. yes, we are both good-ish at public speaking. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to introduce someone who is not at all good at public speaking. This is his first time running a panel uh, and is overall socially awkward. Everybody give it up for Apollo! We're good. You can stand up in a fursuit. Screw you, that's a talent. I'm off. <laughs> all right, take it away. You're MC. Good luck. Wow, okay, throw me in the deep end here. Okay. Well, we have a lot of talent lined up tonight. We have Supreme, we have Xander, we have other people I can't remember the name of at the moment. <laughs> Did you literally just list the people whose names you've known for a week? <laughs> is that how much you've learned about this panel? Oh, this is going to go so much. <laughs> you learned two names for this panel, you're still a better MC you than know I am. What <laughs> I didn't name the one person I fucking live with. Oh. 
I swear to God, if it's boozy, I'm gonna be so confused. <laughs> Our love is real. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. We have a great talent for you tonight. First up is yes. Katrine. He was a he's a singer songwriter. Many of you probably know his name already. Um, he is premiering what I believe is a new some new stuff from his NSFW album, Northside. And I can't remember the rest of the name because I was told a week ago I was running this panel. You've known about this for a month and a half. I don't know what you're on. I was fixing your car. I have no sight of guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, introduce who's going dead. on. Who's going on? I said the train's going on. Perfect. You have to say it again, but louder and weirder. The train is going on. Close enough. Ladies and gentlemen, both the night they're giving up for Citrine! I don't just stand behind the stage and make sure they don't fall. That's all I'm doing. Okay, your talent is my match. Got it. Hey, at least it's uh, pushing. You turn yourself around. That's, That's what, what it's all about. about. Hey, uh, I got directions right. That's good for a blind guy. <laughs> hey, if you want to just toss the plushie in my general direction. Perfect. That worked out well. <laughs> Some Still plushie was Oh my goodness. So I've been in the fandom for 10 years now. And I've written music that's deep. Well, screw that. I've been around you fucks for a long time, and I think we should do some dirty stuff. But see, I've been around for 10 years, and I feel like that qualifies me to be a gray muscle. Despite any gray hair that I have, I can't see, and you all can just stare at it. So I think that we need a new furry con because I want to create an album that's live, live from something. I haven't done a live album. Most acts do that when they're dying. I need to do that. <laughs> so I figured, why not? We'll do sort of, maybe I'll have it as a late night k -tell compilation, you know, please, for one easy payment of $69.69. Nice. 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 You know, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Two blind people doing standing 69, figure that one out. <laughs> so, why not? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that here, that's not my talent! Boozy! I know, I've been practicing. Oh, that's not what I know anything. Go for it, Boozy. Do a standing 69, you and me, come on. I, Boozy, will now try a standing 69. No, the fuck you won't! <laughs> Oh, yeah, forget it. I already threw one, forget it, yeah. It's, All you, buddy. Hold on, is anyone over the age of 18, or under the age of 18? <laughs> <laughs> hey, status. Yeah, no if you're under 18, then you're 12. If you're under 18, then you're 12. That's only for those who give me a 69. Oh. I'm getting a bonus track. <laughs> I'll give you my room later. I'll give you my room number. It's in Braille, so if you figure that out, you get it. Well, I'm going to be feeling a lot of doors this weekend and things that rhyme with doors. Yeah, it'll be a lovely ride, honey. We'll take care oh of it. Oh my God, that was good. Would you go? No more but though. anyway, so I figured that we have to have a live album, as I said, because all acts do live albums when they're dying. And so, I figured that I would have a furry convention. NSFW, that's perfect, what can Woo! it stand for? Live from Northside Furry Weekend. Woo! I love it, Woo! it works great. Now of course there's rooms at these cons, so I'm only gonna give you tiny bits of these songs, but I don't know, maybe there's some fursuits to like micro macro or pause or something. And so they're kind of like singing this happy song, and I was outside their room making sex really awkward, singing something like this. Would you stop me, Daddy? I'll pop and crack it. Make me happy. Oh, stop me with your big paws, Daddy. <laughs> but see, that's fine. 
time. Some people like it rough like that. But some people like it very calm and they want to be talked to. And I like having large, uh, hard things. In Well, this is a deep song. It's about love and what you like when that love is inside of you. It has to do with a certain kink. You'll figure it out by the fourth line. That's all I'm going to give you. I love you for the rest of my life. I'll love you deep inside. Yeah, deep inside. I'll love you forever. I love you forever. Forever. <laughs> now there's always one more song. Of course, we have to be whiter than Eminem. We have to do this. And so we have to have something, you know. Uh, it's, yeah, it's after 9 p.m. You know, that there's a lot of different kind of pups um oh, no. and you know they, they have hoods and those doggies oh, no. are dirty but that's something else and um so you have something that would go like this here's a white guy trying to rap a little bit i got my scruff i look so tough i'm not Billy Girl Gruff, but I look so good just like I should. I'll do what I want, I'll do what I would. I'm a pup in the hood. <laughs> now call within the next 10 minutes and you will get a bonus album which has me doing terrible impressions like this final one that I'm going to leave you with because I need to go panhandle on the street because I can get more money than the homeless guy. I've got an actual cane with me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave you with this to think about tonight. So, I'm going to be blunt. Um, this song was basically by a pedophile. I'm going to make fun of a pedophile at this point. Oh, Well, I'm going to take Citrine backstage and do some stand-up. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh great, it works. My worst nightmare. Okay. Okay, here we go. I've never done this before, so this should be awful. <clears throat> <laughs> My name is Annie the Blue, and I'm here to say, if you're in this room, you're probably gay. <laughs> not gay as in happy, or maybe queer. I obviously not did not drink enough beer. <laughs> this is a really nice room, and you're all nice people. And good lord, please don't let them call you sheeple. That's where I'm stuck, because I've never done this. <laughs> Why did you make me do this? <laughs> My shoes are blue and you are tall. And technically we're still in the fall. And I don't even know if that's true or not. So go home and take the knot. <laughs> I'm just someone smoked some pot. Hopefully it won't blow so much snot. I better stop doing this or I'm gonna stop. Oh, god damn it. You always got called, called pop. <laughs> I better get out of here before I die. Because, uh, die just me on stage. I'm gonna eat some pie. No! Oh! I'm not gonna have to hit it. Every talent show has to be a musical act, except for the one musician. We have someone playing Bop It. Yeah. 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 I'm about as confused as you are. But introducing my sister, that is the ferret. Or hey, brother, Sam. Your brother now. Yeah. My apologies. That happened. My brother. <laughs> that is the ferret. <laughs> Finn's talent is getting canceled. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I know where he's going. I can actually cancel him. Yay! Are you actually just like. My brother's <laughs> going to be a little bit of a little bit of a little are we ready? Yeah. 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 Pi score 97. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Twist it. Twist it. Pop it. Twist it. Pop it. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Pop it. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> That's what my wife said too, so let's give it up for Stanley! Stay still. Stay still. Keep, no, keep talking, but stay I've been still. I've been told to stay still. I don't know what to do. Just keep talking. Just say words. I am saying words. I was told to say words. I am saying words. There you go. You're going to switch. And we're good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, someone found that funny. I don't know who found that funny, but I appreciate you. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, I can't do this panel. So what do we think of that? You <laughs> sounds good? Yeah. 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 One of the panels is right in front. This is going to go it's well. Anyway. Next up, we have Dad. Pharmacist by day, and apparently secret agent by night, because I'm not allowed to know what he does at night. Uh. 
Oh God! Lord Van Ness, get faster! This is my panel. Get off the stage. Shut the hell up! I'm taking your hat. I apologize immediately. <laughs> That's my job. Okay, so, well, I am sorry. It's not my name, but I'm sorry. Can I have, from somewhere on the left side of the room, a topic? Just raise your hand if you have a topic, any kind of topic. What? The carnival? Oh, God. The creation of peanut butter. Oh! Peanut butter does. What? We're getting to your, uh, is it PG-13? It's the yeah. PG-13 panel. Be careful where you go with peanut butter. <laughs> really? How much? Science fiction. Science fiction. No, okay. Science fiction. We'll go with that. So Zanny and I should have coordinated because my talent is I'm going to try and make a spontaneous poetry about the topic I've been given. So your thoughts about me, I'm about to wreck, because here I'm going to rap about Star Trek. Maybe Star Wars, maybe Babylon 5. I swear by the end, this all should kind of jive. See, I'm into the stuff that goes on in space, whether they're wearing leather or frilly lace. I like the bleeps and I like the bloops. I always wonder, where do they poop? <laughs> DeForest Kelly, also known as Bones, when it comes to medicine, he sat on a throne. William Shatner, the prince of Star Trek. I got nothing. <laughs> my, my own expectations, I just did wreck. Should I continue? Should I go on? Should I try and make this stage presence go drag on? No, wait, that's Zanny. Drag on is she. Ha ha ha, he he he. I must admit, before this panel occurred, oh, uh, I went to the red bar because I heard they had some good drinks that were filled with booze. And I should get off stage before I trip over my shoes. Don't worry, I've already filled their all tripping over my own shoes. Can we get another round of applause for that? Come on. Good. I don't know why they hand me this thing, I don't need it. Um, so hard. Next up, we have an interesting act. We have another musical act. But doing each other's instruments, from what I can understand. Uh, what? What? Are Next you... up, and I apologize if I get their names wrong, we have Jack playing. No. Fuck! That's not his name. <laughs> Wait, I know it's Brubar. That's one of them. You can't say them. You're what? Oh, bagel. Bagel. You're from New York. It's there was bagel. No one Wait, it's bagel. 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 I want to point out, I'm not an idiot. There was no one in the list that said bagel. Please welcome G. Otter, Bagel, and Rhubarb. What's up? I'm Rhubarb Mario, and I'm totally playing my instrument. We're not switching instruments. I got P. I have a badge. And Bagel over my right. And we really needed a mic stand, so I'm going to hand this to our client. Actually, we also we also need a percussionist with no good rhythm, so we'll we'll give him. Oh, perfect. I, have a, I was born for this. <laughs> yes. Why do I have a banana? Shake it. This is a first out of the All right, wait. I definitely know how to play the fiddle.
Okay. I have a confession. I'm not actually Rubar, I am Kia! Oh my gosh! I am so happy. Oh! Wait, 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 Thank you very much. I'm glad for being our mic stand. Anytime, here's your ball. <laughs> I thought you said you guys was, this was going to be an oh, anti show. Oh, oh, oh. Careful, that might be a lawsuit. What? That might be a lawsuit. That's I'm, I'm a lawyer. I know. That's sexual harassment. You can know that. that. I didn't consent to that. Oh, I am. I, Boozy Badger, have diplomatic immunity because I'm a lawyer. You can tweet that. What country are you part of the diplomatic immunity? No comment. Okay, so as you saw there, the only thing I'm worse at than emceeing is rhythm. I was born without a sense of rhythm. So I hope I didn't detract from that amazing act we just had. I'm sorry, that was one of the best acts we've had. Can we get another round of applause for him? Okay. I normally use the time between acts to review who's up next. Uh, I am about Forward! Forward! I accept my fate. Goodbye, people. You barely knew me. Okay, goodbye. Hey, get that man live. Ah, I've used eight of them already. I, I'm sorry, I've injured myself. Up next. I believe it's Jax. I hope it's Jax. Because I usually use the time between to review who's up next. Fix your shoe. Fuck my shoe. <laughs> I wish Jax the best of luck. He's an engineer and I'm not sure what he's doing because all engineers are socially inept. I know I'm the nerdiest of engineers. I'm aerospace. So you definitely didn't read what I what I had posted. I'm not an aerospace an aerospace engineer, I'm a power plant engineer. Oh, yeah. oh. hell no! Socially inept, everyone. Prime example. Um, so yeah. Anyway, um, this is my first Midwest Fur Fest, and actually, I just started uh, getting into furry since January. First con was Anthro, Ohio, which was really awesome. Where I met both Alkali and Status. Um, this, uh, this con, you man, everybody here knows me as Status' roommate, so that's, that's, that's me. That's all I am to you? Oh, ah! oh. No! What? That's what I thought, bitch. <laughs> wow. Okay, well anyway, so, um, my, ta my talent, or inverse talent, is going to be attempting to introduce myself or communicate in languages that I am not proficient in. So this requires some audience participation where I, so I can introduce myself or reasonably communicate in three languages. You guys don't know which three they are. Obviously one of them is English. Um, so I'm gonna need people to spit out languages and we will figure it out. 
Back in the blue, what did you say? Swahili jumbo, yeah? That's all I know. <laughs> Binary. Binary? One zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one 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 zero zero one wizard. Oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm sorry. I cannot do that. This is bad. I didn't sign up for this. I did sign up. No, I didn't sign up for this. You put me on this. You put me on this. I was voluntold to do this. Espanol. Oh, uh, okay. So, uh, tu hablas español? Sí, así, así. ¿Cómo está usted? Bien, así, así. So, when I was doing Spanish in school, everybody would go down the line. You had to ask, ¿Cómo está? And then you would respond. Everybody had the same binder, and they wanted to find something that was easiest to say. So they would say, ¿Cómo está? Así, así. ¿Cómo está? Eso, así, así. Down and down and down the line. And that is all that we did. All right, one more language. We'll try. Russian? Russian? No. I heard Russian. All right, so. Privyet Tabroshki. That's about it. That means, hello, comrade. And that is my panel. I'm sorry. That is my talent. Thank you. Cat, Otter, Finnegan. Okay, so. I got someone on the phone here. They want to interrupt the panel. You guys okay with that? Yeah! yeah. Sure. Okay. Depends, is it our mom? <laughs> My mom doesn't speak to me anymore. Oh! Something so about being a gay furry. Hey. We all know the that. I'm the autistic engineer. You're the one with actual social skills. We all know who's the favorite. <laughs> okay. Sorry, they, they didn't like me saying that. But, they said they're here now. They said they just arrived. What? They said they just got off the plane. What? Okay, they're here. Um, everyone, round of applause for Boozy Badger? Hello, I never heard of that. I am Boozy Badger. Hello, everyone. It is so nice to meet all of you. My name is Boozy Badger. I have spent the last 20 something years as a lawyer. And one thing I've learned in my years of lawyering is to never give something away for free. But I'm gonna break that. I, Boozy Badger, and please, please, everything I say, please feel free to quote me directly and at me on Twitter as Boozy Badger. I, Boozy Badger, for the next five minutes, both in here, in person, and over the phone, over Twitter, will answer any legal question. I am now Boozy Badger giving out free legal advice. Does anyone here have free legal advice they need? Yes, you right back there. Oh, you're looking for a legal way to hide a body? Yes. Okay, first what you have to do is you have to de declare the area around the body as a sovereign nation. <laughs> then after that, you need to find oil. And then you need to go declare we need to give freedom to that country. <laughs> Does we have any other people needing free, 100% legal, legal advice? One more back there. No, you. You're looking for... <laughs> so if you want to legally divorce your son, what first you have to do is you have to declare the area around him as a sovereign nation. <laughs> and then repeat steps one through three. Is there one on the phone? Do I hear that there is there is someone asking for a legal question over the phone? Another one, another one, another one. Oh yeah. Take that one. Uh, yes, um, Fur is on the phone and Fur is to on talk the to phone. you, Lucy. Oh, that's fantastic. Fur, how are you doing? Listen here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fur, I know you have a potty mouth, but seriously, I know that you are one of the most handsome furries out. Fur, I understand that you're like the sexiest person alive and you think you can get away with swearing, but there are children here, Fur. I know. I know that you can't be here in person because you're just glorious, amazing, beautiful physique and your wonderfully clean-shaven face will just attract all the ladies. But do you have a legal question? 
Well, I, you made a mistake because, as you all know, I am fur, and I cannot be there in person. But it is specifically because, as you said a moment ago, Pussy, there are children present, and the court says I'm not allowed to be within a hundred feet. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Lightning round. I, Boozy Badger, uh, once uh, tried water skiing and I slided, I collided into the side of a, a shed. Um, I also killed like three people. Um, I, Boozy Badger, did go to Warsaw. Uh, and also, I, Boozy Badger, uh, absolutely love My Little Pony. I'm a hashtag Rainbow Dash for life. Thank you all so much.
so let me get my glasses on because apparently I am 49. <laughs> 29 Hey, status. Hey, what? <laughs> how many telemarketers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know how many. <laughs> Only one, but he does it while you're eating. Or he's talking <laughs> <laughs> Hey, status. Hey, what? <laughs> you how many DUI? D. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Do it yourself or buffs does it take to change a light bulb? One, but it takes two weeks and four trips to the hardware store. Thank you. Of course. Hey, Status. Hey, what? <laughs> you know, I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. <laughs> hey, Status. Hey, what? <laughs> Why didn't Han Solo enjoy his steak dinner? Why? It was a little chewy. <laughs> hey, status. Hey, what? Did you hear about? Did you hear about the guy that froze to death at the drive-in? I didn't. Yeah, he wanted to see closed for the winter. <laughs> I hate this family. <laughs> hey, status. Hey, what? What does a mermaid wash their tail with? What? Tide. <laughs> hey, status. Hey, what? What's a vampire's favorite ship? What? A blood vessel. <laughs> Only a few more. I know status is just loving this, but we have to get things moving along. <laughs> this one should be easy. Everyone should know this. Hey, status. Hey, what? How do you make holy water? Oh, shit. You boil the hell out of it. <laughs> okay, one last one. Hey, status. Hey, what? When does the dad, or er, when does the joke become a dad joke? Can I actually do this one? Why not? When it becomes apparent. That's it. And to everyone in the audience, if you ever wonder why I am the way I am, just know that my parents met at a family reunion. Uh, that is a real story. And I'm going to leave it out of context just for you. Thank you. More, but I just couldn't keep it together. I have to go over to Seance's small friend. Yay! I have a little Danny DeVito. It's life size. Oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm so happy. <laughs> now you've ruined it. Oh. Okay, bye. Love you. I can mix it with more dad I know where you live. I know where you live. You two should kiss! What? Oh. 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 That's my parents' thing! Hello. Oh. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. I need an adult. I am an adult. No, you are not. No, you're, no, you're, no, you're a child. Basically. Okay, anyway. Um, after that, we have an act I know nothing about because they didn't. They didn't really give me any clarification other than they tend to get panels shut down. Oh, oh shit. And I'm slightly scared. Give it a round of applause for Chris the Comedy Party. I didn't say I get panels shut down. I said I get them in trouble, which happens a lot, just to clarify. <laughs> Sorry, six, seven. Hi everyone, I'm Chris. Are you having a good time? Yay! Hey, there are so many people here to watch people fail. <laughs> good for all of you. Proud of you. Good for all of you. Um, my talent, I am going to juggle and tell jokes. I didn't know that someone else was telling jokes. It's okay though. We have, it's fine, it's an anti-panel. We're supposed to be bad at it. I'm gonna juggle. Alpha, can you come up here? Absolutely. Cool, thank you. No problem. 
Okay, so Alkali. You're not gonna make me juggle, are you? <laughs> My hand eye coordination is um non existent. Figure it out. Excellent. <laughs> that sounds like a maybe. <laughs> this sounds like our first date again. <laughs> Hope it ends the same way. With a maybe? Yes. <laughs> so, Alkali. Yes, friend. How do you kill a clown? How do you kill a clown? You always go for the juggler! And I dropped the one I picked you up. You did, you did. Oh. oh, that's right, Alkali. I'm sorry, I can't tell you those jokes. What? Well, because I know you're a klepto, and you can't tell klepto puns. I'm a klepto? Well, for the purpose of the joke you are. Oh, for the, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. A, totally. Totally a klepto. Take two. Alkali, you're a klepto. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's because he always takes things. He takes everything. Literally. <laughs> wait, oh, yeah. Juggling. <laughs> It's We're building. Called, yeah, it's, it's narrative. <laughs> narrative. I heard a couple of cows laugh. We'll call that the laughing stock. <laughs> oh, dude! Narrative. Yay! Hey, 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 Alkali. Hey, Chris. How do you fit an elephant in a refrigerator? In oh. three steps. How do you fit an elephant in a refrigerator in three steps? Well. You put it, you open up the door. Okay. You put it in. Okay. Then you shut it, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the lesson, oh juggling clown. Woo! Hey, Alkali. Hey, Chris. How do you fit a giraffe in that same refrigerator, but in four steps? How do you fit a giraffe in the same refrigerator, but in four steps, oh juggling clown? You open it. Yeah. Then you take the elephant Jesus out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then you put the giraffe in. Uh, oh, really? And then what do you do? You close it, dummy. Okay. <laughs> Jokes on them, once they called me a klepto, I got their wallet. <laughs> Is this your card? <laughs> Fine, yes, you caught me. Hey, Alkali. Hey, what's up, Chris? Did you hear about the Lion King room party last night? You know I didn't! <laughs> But all of the animals made it there except for one. Which one? The giraffe, because it's still in the refrigerator. You fucking moron! Hey, 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 hey. Your juggling is subpar. That's because it's an anti talent show. Um, hey, Alkali. Hey, Chris, what's up? Pick a name. We'll go with Alkali. Hey, Alkali. <laughs> hey, Chris, what's up? One time, Alkali, Alkali swam through a river full of crocodiles, but didn't die. Oh yeah? That's really great. How's that? Oh, well, <laughs> they didn't go for the juggler. <laughs> You're a clown. Whoa! Oh. Oh. This is my life. <laughs> and I, I wouldn't change it for the world. It's okay. Woo! I guess you could say my set came full circle of life. Cause the Lion King bit juggling mic drop. <laughs> I gotta go. Yeah, it was badass. Can we get a round of applause for our health and safety officer? Absolutely. You know what just happened? I don't have to do a teller. I'm sorry, who said? Oh!
Okay, and it's not Chris the Comedy Bunny's panel. Chris, take over the panel so I don't know who I am. Hey everyone, I'm Chris the Comedy Bunny. I'd like to welcome Alkali to the stage. Fuck out your panel and there is an order. Go ahead, friend. You're right. No, no, you know you're next. I hate this. this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me make this let very clear. Out. I'm not ready. Okay. So, Are you ready now? So, no, 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 <laughs> so originally I had a few different ideas for this panel. Number one, I was going to sit here quietly for five minutes. <laughs> I practice at home, I never made it more than one minute, so screw that. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do something a little bit different than everyone else. I am going to do my talent that I may have actually had years and years ago, because it was something that I truly enjoyed. When I was younger, I... Uh, I think a lot of us know what this feels like. You want to stand out. And I found my way. I found that I absolutely loved magic. The top hat actually is from that. I started wearing this top hat long before furry because I actually did a little bit of amateur magic. There's something so special about magic. I absolutely love being able to just... It's fun, right? isn't magic. That is a trick. That is a $20 trick. <laughs> that is all it is. So I had to learn. And I kept trying and I kept trying. And you want to talk about failing? Dear God, was I good at failing magic. But over the years, over the years, you do learn things. You learn little things. Those little things help in life. They really do. Because I can steal wallets, but yours must be in your pocket, ass. <laughs> Oh, it was your card! There was a card! Ah! One! There was one! Full circle, everyone! Full I kept trying. I kept trying. It didn't go well. Let me make that very clear. When I said I didn't have a lot of hand-eye coordination, I could not have been telling a bigger truth. I've dropped cards on stage during an actual performance. I got invited to do a charity show that I totally did the exact trick I'm about to show you. So we're going to start off with this. I actually want to show you how to do some of these, because the first one, you've all seen. I'll bet you half the people in the room have done this. You ready? Ready. Is this your card? Nope. I had it upside down. I'm doing great so far. <laughs> the anti telling My friend. Tell me when. Take the card. Right there. Right there. Oh, are you sure? Because we all know how this trick is done. Ready? One, two, three. Here's your card. Hold on to that. That's one. Who knew how I did that? Of course you do. Some of you know how to do that trick. We're going to change it up a little bit this time. You need a card as well. Could you uh, actually just cut some of the deck? Take some off the top. All right. We've got two cards in the audience now. What's your card? Uh, nine of hearts. Nine. All right. We got the nine. So that means that this one matters. Yours? Nope. <laughs> Told you I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Count to three. One, two, three. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to pull a trick here, and it's not working. There's your card. <laughs> Screw you. I suck. What are the two cards? I told you it's the empty panel. What are the two cards? Nine of hearts. Nine and? Six of nine and six. That's right. Sixty-nine. Hey. Here we go. Hey. Take your card. Would you slide it anywhere in the deck still sticking out? Thank you. Take your card. Slide it anywhere in the deck still sticking out. You guys all know how I feel about that number, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. The number 69. All right. Here we go. See if I can still do this shit. What's that number? 69. One. Two. This is going to be so messy. Three. One. 
One, not gonna work. Two, What's card? Uh, three of clubs. I nailed it! Yes! And the ace of clubs! You all saw it here! That's how magic works! I lost their cards in the middle of the trick, and I fucking kept going. That's right! I did that exact trick. Got it to work one out of four times at a charity event where they asked me to be a magician for them. It did not go well for me. <laughs> but actually, that made me want to learn. And I did learn to lose all of my shit. I kept buying cards. I kept doing magic trick after magic trick after magic trick and failing miserably. But when you buy a hundred decks of cards, you start realizing something. Cards have personalities. And these queens right here, ooh, do they got a personality. These are some of my favorite queens. These are my out of control queens. Thank you, oh, you found all my cards? That's a miracle. <laughs> Throughout the course of this, I found so many different decks of cards, but I always noticed the queen of hearts the Queen of Hearts was always something very special, so I separated them out. I grabbed one, two, three, four Queens of Hearts. We're going to keep those right down here, face down. You don't need to see them. It won't help the trick. And then I found four more, because these Queens are actually, truly, out of control. Because these Queens are furry. They're amazing! I love it! If one of them, watch this, we're going to take a queen from down here. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Alkali, do you want me to be the queen? I might need your queenie help. Okay. All right. So at some point, I double the count. And now every card is out of order in that deck. And I need to figure out how to reshuffle it back into order. So give me a moment. I know exactly how to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Elkline. I'm the worst magician ever. Good night. But all three, you wanted failure. That is the first time I have performed magic in literally five years. Thank you for humoring me. Glad to fail with style. Stay on the stage or stay off the stage. Pick one. You're hard to read. I can't read anyway. <laughs> I'm not good at math. You're an engineer. I found your card. It was in the box still. <laughs> that wasn't part of the trick. <laughs> Magic is real. I just switched my nose. That's a bird. the best one. Magic. Okay, does not control the Take panel. The I was slightly in control. Of. I think I've used that line once already, and that's why I'm not very good at this. Anyway, closing out the night, we have someone who says their act is the best, which means I think it's the worst because this is anti. Already went. Not you. You don't have partially jacket. You're right. <laughs> Give it up for the man with the best sense of style and the best colored jacket, Iggy! How are y'all doing? Alright. What you want to it? Um, when we get to that. Um, alright. So first off, you know, it's a really good time to worry about some rhymes. Uh, that bunny was really funny. All right, next one. Yeah! I'll get it. Ding it. Ding it. Ding it. Ding it. Stop it. 
Ding it. Touch it. Ding it. All right. Oh. Now I'm going to do some poetry for y'all. Thick lady at the post office. Roselle. You had curves in all the right places. Wondering if you are from around the area. Would love to grab a bite for lunch with you. Too bad you were standing way ahead in the line. If I was anywhere near you in the line, I would have definitely made conversation. Do not contact me with unsolicited services or offers. Oh. I went down to Georgia Walk And I went down there to have some fun And I don't have any more lyrics for the song Me playing the mouth organ is wrong <laughs> Oh yeah, sure I wrote really smart Look at my cock, the who? Hang on. Picard. We're getting yet now into this new tech. Yeah, bitte. Pikachu, Pikachu, disco tech. Really? In the case of Growlithe and Arcanine, please step forward. The judges on this case are someone I don't know who they are and one Boozy Badger Esquire. Please step forward. What do you have to say? Am, am, am I the plaintiff or the defendant? Oh, you know. <laughs> my, my client may or may not have done those things. That's right. That's right. And right there, I'm going to stop you because Title II concerning theft of pigs, etc., if anyone steal a sucking pig and it can be proved against him, he shall be sentenced to 120 dinars, which make three shillings. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> that is so ordered, this case is decided dismissed. Freedom! kilogram block say to the pulley system forcing 50 newtons on it my mass hurts <laughs> hey stop me if you heard this one yeah yeah, yeah i heard that i could go next, the next thing um, oh that was the other thing cool hey alkali yo come over here shit <laughs> It's okay, just bring it. Hi, I'm Alkaline Al. All right, cool. Wait, wait. That's a great Oh, God, this is about to go really bad. You might want to step back. Just step back. Oh, God. Okay, here it goes. 
Okay, good. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Turned you on that much? No, he triggered the fucking. <laughs> stage together for a little for a little sing along to close this out. Yay! Wherever you wherever you can come you where you can make it. You can't sing. That's the point. I can't sing. I can sing. Alright. Alright, here we go. Oh, oh yes, 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 we actually have back here. Was I the only one they didn't coordinate with? I'm literally the host of the panel. <laughs> Are we good? Should I start? start? Alright, we'll just, we'll just go with it. Go with it. Alright. Alright, so, until we meet again, please remember, in this friendly, friendly world, with each day so full of joy Why should any heart be lonely In this friendly, friendly world With each night so full of dreams Why should any heart be afraid Yep, it sure is a friendly world, you know we should treat each other like brothers and sisters and cats and dogs. In fact, everybody, turn to the person to the left and the right of you and, and say, and you know, say hi. Um, hi, hi, doggy. Hi, kitty. Hi, sister. Hi, brother. Sure. And everybody, if they're cool with it or, you know, just kind of go along with the song, put your arm around the person next to you if they're so inclined. Very good. Very good. Very good. And, you know, even if you don't even like the person next to you, and all of this is you at home, get your arm around someone and shake, you know, move along with the song. And now, everybody sing. Here we go. Uh, the world is such a wonderful place. The world is such a wonderful place to wander through, to wander through. When you've got someone you love, when you've got someone you love to wander along with you, to wander along with you. With the sky so full of stars, with the sky so full of stars, and the river full of song, and the river so full of song. Every heart should be so thankful, every heart should be so thankful. Thank you for this friendly, friendly world. Thank you for this friendly, friendly world. All right, one more time, one more time. Everybody, oh, I don't need everybody. Oh, there we go. Thank you, thankful for this friendly, friendly world. Thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Status, you want to run it? Run, run the crew down? Guys, this has been Midnight at MFF. I'd like to thank Joe Wolf, Apollo, Jack, Citrine, Zanny, Chris, Boozy Badger, uh, Rhubarb, Key Otter, Dez, Alkali. My name is Status Ferret. Thank you and good night. <laughs> If you'd like to hang out for a little bit, we're, uh, we're going to have four of us playing pyramid up here for a little bit after the show. Silver Gatto Monkey bought me a coffee. 
Silver Gatoman, here is the song for thee. He likes to video all the panels at the cons. You should go and watch them whether they are short or long. Silver Gatoman, you video that's not a jibe. All of you go to his YouTube channel and like and subscribe.